guys welcome to my channel welcome to another episode of my channel my name is Jeridine Akum and today I'm going to show you a quick tutorial on how to make your own face mask at home using tightly woven cotton fabric we need two layers of cotton fabric elastic and a wire if you don't have elastic no worries you could take out the elastic from your disposable face mask you have at home this can save the purpose and for wire as you can see i took out the wire from a disposable face mask i had or if you don't have that you could use the hair pin a hair pin you open it up a little bit and pinch it in the middle that will serve as your wire around the nose area to avoid germs or virus from coming in and on the upper side of your face i really trying to sew a face mask that can be used in hospitals that could be used in families who have brothers or sisters that have been affected by the virus so i need a filter today i don't have a filter for my tutorial so i'm going to use a disposable face mask as a filter so after i finish sewing my two layers of fabric i'm gonna slide in this disposable face mask in between to serve as a filter for now since i don't have one so without taking so much of your time hang on and let's go straight into sewing our face mask
as you can see i uh, i sold my two piece of fabric and i turned it over right side against right side and i flip it over so now i'm going to do a stitch right here i'm going to fold in by one and a half centimeters right here the other edge i left an opening in order to slide in my filter so i'm going to go ahead and sew one and a half inch inside Backstitch. All right. This value right here is where I'm going to slide in my elastic. Right here is where I'm going to slide in my elastic. So I'm going to cut the hanging thread. So my next step is to put in my wire as you could watch as you could see let me flip it this way the curved area is where it's at the bottom by the chin and the straight area is by the nose so i'm going to slide in my elastic balance it up in the center Uh, let me see this is my center right here I'm going to go ahead and sew around under my wire right here to hold it in place to avoid it from moving around All right, make sure it's balanced and uh, right here so when you make sure it's centered in the in the middle of your fabric, then you're gonna go ahead, do a shot stitch on the side right here. Make sure you avoid the wire. Come down, flip around. So under the wire. Don't sew on top of the wire, guys. Be careful not to sew on top of the wire. So go ahead. Have my stitch under the wire. And when I get to the end of this, the wire, I do the same thing. I flip it over. Make sure you don't go on top of the wire. Avoid breaking your needle. All right, back stage. Okay, take it out. Cut my hanging threads. All right, there you go, right here. See the wires right here around your nose area. You're gonna pinch the nose. Protect yourself at the top. So. My next step is going to put in my filter. Cut out the woven part. Cut it out. I'm also going to cut out this area. Cut out. measure it make sure it's not too big the same shape you don't have to be perfectly cut out but just make sure you have like close to the same shape as your face mask
face might gonna look like something like this so this is a curve by the chin the straight part is by the nose so i'm gonna go ahead now use my safety pin and two string bands of 13 inch both 13 inch 13 inch or for those who use centimeters or 33 centimeters or 13 inches that's my elastic so i'm gonna go ahead and slide my elastic through the stitches i have at the end for those who don't have elastic as i said in the instruction of my video if you don't have elastic all you have is this elastic from uh the disposable face mask or you have the elastic from a hairband that look exactly the same you don't have to slide it through if you don't have enough elastic what you could do if you don't have elastic is to create one two pins and stitch it to the side stitch it right here two pleats stitch it right stitch it here and then put your elastic on the side like this that's what you could do if you don't have enough elastic to put it through the stitches in the holes you could use the short or whatever elastic you have after making your two pleats of two centimeters each one and two stitch it then you apply your short elastic on the side that's for those who don't have enough elastic the 13 inch elastic i'm using so i have the elastic i'm going to keep going with my elastic so i'm going to slide it in slide my elastic through like that This is more practical. I prefer this method because it's really closing tight. Like there, with this, you may, you sure to have enough protection. It's tightly closed on the side and it fits to the face perfectly. So this is the method I'm going to advise everybody that does so in a face mask to use elastic through the seam on the side. It gives you more perfect, more protection and it's more tight and close to the face so i'm going to go ahead and place my elastic over one over the other one you could pin it up to make sure it stays together but i'm going straight to the machine So there you go. I'm going to pin it together to make it easier for me because it's not easy to have it over there. All right. After I put my elastic through the seam, I'm going to pin it together and go ahead and stitch it one over the other. Pin it together in this direction. going ahead to my machine make sure you don't stitch you make sure you move the pin before you get to where make sure you take out the pin to avoid breaking your needle i'm gonna start back stitch there you go take out do it over and over stitch it to make sure it's stitched together firmly it out 
got the thread i'm going to slide in the sewn part of the elastic inside just trying to have a perfect finish so it's inside put it inside so i make sure the elastic is inside so the next step i'm going to do i'm going to need a pin because i want it to be tied on my face so i'm gonna go ahead and stitch right here one end of the elastic like this backstitch backstitch you hold it together take it out go ahead and uh, I'm gonna pull this other edge to create like a little some elastic over here Let's create some gathers over there like that I'm gonna pull a little not too much just have a little gathers on the side and then pin it together to hold it together not to lose my elastic my uh, gathers and uh, like that go ahead and stitch guys I'm going step by step because I want you to really learn all the steps I don't want to go uh, too fast because this this is for beginners those who don't really know how to sew I don't want to go ahead and forward everything I want you to really understand what I'm doing so that's why I'm taking my time to show you every step all right back stitch turn it over make sure I stitch over the elastic to hold it so it on open up my gather my uh... all right repeat the stitches on the elastic all right that's how it's gonna look like so i'm gonna go ahead and do the same thing on the other side uh i went ahead and stitched the other side of the elastic and i pressed the face mask so this is how a finished product look like so i did some pleats on the iron I iron and did some pleats on the face mask so the curve area is the bottom of the mask and the top area is straight and i i have my string in here my wire so this is how a finished mask will look like after i pinch the nose area this is how a face mask will look like that's our finished product i'm gonna go ahead and tie over here because I made it bigger because some people might have larger faces so you could tie the elastic based on the size of your face or the size of your head so I'm gonna head I'm gonna go ahead and tie this like so all right so there you go there you go this is our finished mask that's how it looks like Thank you for watching guys. I hope you did enjoy and learn from this short tutorial. Please don't forget to like and subscribe for next videos on face masks and other creation by Nergestai. Thank you for watching.